I promise Allah today that I will do better than where I was yesterday. Let's make the promise. Do you promise Allah you will become a better person than what you were yesterday? And if you continue promising when you, by the time you get to the day when you are going to die, you will be the best version of yourself. How many of us we never used to pray today? Allah allowed us to pray. Do you know when you are doing tahajjud, it's by invite only. Do you know that? You know what is invite only? If you do tahajjud before fajr, it's only by invite. Allah invites you to do tahajjud. Otherwise you are sleeping. Allahu Akbar. So when you do tahajjud, first thing, thank Allah. Oh Allah, you invited me here today. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Many of us forget about the hajjud, even the fajr is not even there. Who invited you? Shaitan, let me, I'm asleep. Masad, there's still five snooze, snooze. Okay, khalas. Okay. And then they say, okay, 30 minutes, snooze again, snooze again. Am I right or wrong? I'm a human, I also snooze, snooze, I don't know. <laughs> So understand the favor of Allah. Get up, be strong. Allahu Akbar, it might be my last day. The hadith says, Salli salatam wadda'in. When you fulfill your prayer, fulfill it as though it's the last prayer and then it's gone. Maybe I might not get to pray after this. And do that every day for every prayer. One day, it will be your last prayer. It will. May Allah strengthen us. My brothers and sisters, if you have bad habits, today is the day you're going to throw it out by the will of Allah. If Allah does not soften your heart on a day like this, where so many thousand have gathered here, for example, in order to remember Allah, if Allah did not soften you on a day like this, when do you want to be softened? What are you waiting for? Is there something you are waiting? Some people, they turn to Allah after they have a big loss. You can wait for the loss. Sometimes it might not come. Sometimes people are diagnosed with a disease. May Allah give you shifa. If Allah has tested you with a sickness, today we are asking Allah, Allahumma shfihi. Oh, Allahumma shfiha. Oh, Allah grant her or him cure. May Allah grant you cure. Don't wait for calamity to strike before you turn to Allah. Because at that time, shaitan might come to you and you might turn away from Allah. There are some people, there is a guy who sent me an email the other day saying, I lost my job. Two years I'm making dua, Allah is rejecting. Now I'm fed up of praying. Hey, how can you say that? How can you say Allah is rejecting? Allah knows he wants to squeeze you to the end. Don't give up prayer. Yusuf alayhi salam, the father, he prayed for how long? He was a Nabi of Allah, Prophet of Allah, Yaqub, Jacob, may peace be upon him. He kept praying for Allah for years and years and years. And what did he say? I'm not going to stop because min ma la ta'lamun. I know from Allah something which you don't know. Allah will give. And even if Allah does not give in this world, he will reward me because I prayed and because I continue to ask that is Allah. So my brothers and sisters, today is the day. We need to be kind to one another. We need to help one another. We need to reach out to one another. We need to change the way we treat people. Don't be rough. Watch your tongue. Don't hurt people's feelings. When you are rough with your tongue, you pay a price. When you are hurtful to someone, you pay the price. When you have done something wrong to someone else, that is a heavy price you're going to pay. It's worse than when you have committed a sin between you and Allah, because you and Allah, He can forgive you without interference of anyone else. He is Ghafoor, Rahim, Rahman, Wadud, the most kind, the most merciful, the most generous, the most compassionate, the most forgiving and so on. Those qualities belong to Allah, not to other human beings.